so suppose we have created a pattern and during the pattern creation process we have changed several uh, shades of, uh, of the colors so in final step we would like to know what colors are used specific colors which are finalized in the pattern and their specific pantone codes also so to do that what we can do is there are two ways first is you can select your artwork and create a new color group you can name the color group whatever you want pattern color group 1 and select selected artwork so you can see in the swatches panel this new color group pattern color group one has been created containing all the colors which are used in this specific pattern now to know the pantone color codes for this specific colors you have to go to this pie like icon here so just click on that so here you can in the decolor artwork window you can see this uh, swatches like icon here just click on it there are several options you can go to color books and can select whatever you want pantone color codes you want different pantone categories are displayed here we will go with Pantone plus CMYK and quote it and click OK. So now we can see that all these colors which are present in the RGB color formats have been converted to Pantone shapes. This little triangle, white triangle you are seeing, these are the Pantone colors. We will click on one this green shade this is Panther P135 ATU this yellow shade has the code Pantone P14 ATU similarly for all the colors you will get your Pantone shades one more thing which you can do to you know, uh, know what final colors are used in your artwork why I am saying this here is uh, this happens many times that we start with four to five colors for a specific artwork or design and during the process uh, of design we uh, tend to you know add some colors or subtract some colors which we plan to use initially and in, we end up with totally different colors also sometimes so what you can do is you can click on this flyout menu in the swatches panel and you can select all un unused this will show all the colors which are not used in this particular design you can go on delete swatch yes so as you can see we are only left with these colors which are used in this design and this swatch which you are seeing here is the pan, uh, pattern swatch which we have created this one and this is the rect a rectangle which has been filled with this particular swatch so that's it for today's video guys what we learned was how to get the pantone shades for the colors used in our design and also how can we get rid of uh, all the unused colors in our design so that we uh, we are left with only the uh, relevant designs sorry relevant colors for that particular design in our swatches panel so thank you for watching this video let's meet in next mm -hmm.